Professor Halix's kaleidoscopic antibiotic. Professor, this laboratory is in a terrible state. I know that Alexander Fleming discovered penicillin in a mucky Petri dish, but that's not an excuse to leave the washing up in the sink. Prevention is always better than cure. Hmm. Suppose it could use a spring clean, couldn't it? Ouch! I've cut myself. Oh, Professor, that looks nasty. I think we'll need to get the doctor to take a look at this. I agree. It really hurts. Hey, look over there. It's great Uncle Halitosis. What's he doing here? Oh, he did tell me he was getting his flu jab. You know, a vaccination. Flu is a very nasty viral infection. Vaccinations are offered to people who are especially at risk, like children and the elderly. I tell you what, nurse. Vaccinations are incredibly interesting. Isn't that so, computer? Vaccines are used to help prevent bacterial and viral infections. They work by stimulating white blood cells to produce antibodies to fight certain diseases. If the vaccinated person then comes into contact with the actual disease, their immune system will recognize it and immediately produce the antibodies or cells they need to fight it. Thanks to vaccines, some infectious diseases like polio and smallpox have been virtually wiped out. The main ingredient of any vaccine is either dead or weakened versions of the disease-causing virus or bacteria. Hey, Nanobot, why don't you shrink yourself down with a heli telly bubble and take a peek inside Uncle Halitosis so you can see the vaccine in action? Go on, quickly, before he leaves. Okay, should be interesting. Heli telly bubble, ready to launch in three, two. One. Well, I can see the flu antigen attached to the weakened influenza viruses. Ah, his body has detected that something is up. Here come the lymphocytes. Lymphocytes are white blood cells which attack harmful microbes. B lymphocytes are coated in different Y-shaped antibodies. An antibody is a kind of protein and there are thousands, if not millions, of different types of antibodies produced by the immune system. Bacteria cells and viruses have antigens on their surface. When the right antibody connects with the right antigen, like a lock and key, the cell will be destroyed. I don't think the white blood cells have found a match yet. Oh, there we go. The antibodies on that white blood cell match the antigens on one of the flu vaccine viruses. The white blood cell is quickly making lots of copies of itself and those copies produce the correct antibody to kill the vaccine viruses. It won't be long until they've eradicated all of the weakened virus vaccines. Copies of these cells are kept in the blood so that if the real flu virus does appear, your body will know how to combat it. Like puzzle pieces. That's Uncle Halitosis sorted now. No need to worry about the flu now. That's not quite so, Professor. Although some vaccines do last for a lifetime, others need boosters to remind your white blood cells of the right codes to combat the pathogens. The flu virus is so clever, it keeps changing. It is therefore important to get a completely new vaccine every year. Professor Halex, two, three. Hey up! The doctor's ready for me. Better get yourself back here, nurse. Vaccinations are a part of modern life. Many are given as an injection or nasal spray when you are a child. You will have had them to protect yourself from diseases like mumps, rubella and whooping cough. That's right. It's important that as many people as possible get the right vaccinations. That way we can protect the more vulnerable people in our communities and even eradicate some diseases altogether. 
And don't forget what I said earlier, Professor. Prevention is better than cure. The more effort we make to stay healthy and practice good hygiene, like washing hands regularly, the less chance these infections will have to spread in the first place. And talking of good hygiene... You're suggesting I give the old laboratory a good clean? You've got it in one. Professor Halix's Kaleidoscopic Antibiotic. With support from eBug and Public Health England. Find out more at funkidslive.com slash or visit e-bug.eu